Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be covering AWS Network Load Balancers. So we'll be covering first some theoretical part like what load balancers are, what is NLB or Network Load Balancer, what are target groups, what are listeners, and then we'll go to the AWS console and we'll create a Network Load Balancer target group and we'll see how it works. So let's start this video. So what is a network load balancer or I would say a load balancer in general. So the purpose of load balancer is to distribute incoming application traffic across multiple targets. So this will help us in increasing the availability of our application. You can have one or more listener attached to your load, load balancer. You, you have target group as well that routes requests to one or more registered target. So I'll cover listeners, target group, everything in detail in coming slides. The important point for network load balancer is that it uses TCP protocol and the port number you specify. If I just add an additional statement, when we talk of application load balancer that uses HTTP, HTTPS, such protocol, but NLB uses TCP protocol or UDP protocol, I would say. So I'll cover these in coming slides. So network load balancer, important point to note here that it works at the fourth layer of the OSI model. It can handle mul millions of requests per second. So after the load balancer re receives a connection request, what it does next, it selects a target from the target group and routes the traffic to it. It attempts to open a TCP connection request to the selected target on the port specified in the listener. So once the load balancer receives a connection request, it selects a target and opens a TCP connection request. So this is all related to network, network load balancer. So this is all related to NLB. So what are listeners? So listeners checks for the connection request from client. It checks the connection request if there are any. It uses certain protocol and port. You can define rules inside the listener and based on those rules, request will be routed. So there are different protocols that NLB uses TCP, TLS, UDP. These protocols you can configure in NLB listeners. And there are rules inside the listener that forward request to the specified target groups. So this is a quick theory about listener. Further in detail, I'll cover in the demo. So please watch this video till the end. Target group, I'll just quickly cover that you, have, you can each target group route request to one or more registered targets. You will define protocol and ports. You can register a target with multiple target group. That means you can have a EC2 instance, let's say. You, you can have that EC2 instance as target in multiple target group. You can configure health checks and health checks will be performed on all the targets inside the target group mainly. So there are certain features related to NLB. So NLB is able to handle volatile workload and it can scale up to millions of requests per second. It supports static IP or you can assign one elastic IP per subnet as well. You can register IP as a target. IPs can belong to inside VPC or outside VPC as well. It supports routing requests to multiple applications on the single EC2 instance. It supports health checks and if you add a target group to the auto scaling group then it can dynamically scale based on demand. So these are some of the important features related to NLB. So before we go to demo, so if you like this content then please do like this video and subscribe the channel. That will definitely encourage me in making more such content. Thank you. So let's go to the demo now. So this is my AWS console. So currently I have two instances running. So I'll just go to the VPC page and I'll show you a custom VPC that I have created. So here I have created one custom VPC and I have created two subnets in this VPC. Two public subnet that I'll be using as a part of load balancer and there is one private subnet as well. So if I just go to the EC2 instance dashboard or EC2 dashboard there if you scroll down you can see load balancers you can see a load balancer tab is here so from here you can create load balancers so if I just go ahead and create load balancer and this time we'll be creating a network load balancer 
so if you see this quick design here you can see it is using TCP UDP or TLS uh, to forward the traffic and it is ha it can have EC2 instances as a target or a another ALB as well so I'll just create this load balancer my session NLB I'll name it so it will be a internet facing a NLB network mapping I'll select my custom VPC from here you need to select at least one av availability zone and one subnet for each zone so but I have two so I'll select both so I'll select both my public subnets as you can see it uses TCP 80 port and from here we need to select the target group so target groups if I just currently I don't have any target group but if I just go ahead and create a target group so I'll add the instances so this is my NLB TG let's say and I'll be forwarding traffic to port 80 health check I'll add let's say I'll checking my index dot HTML so I'll add I'll click on next so I have two instances available so I'll both my instances and these are using port 80 so I'll add these so if you see these are added so I'll create a target group now if I just click on the newly created target group you can see these are unused right now because we have not associated our target group with some load balancer now I come back to my load balancer screen I just do a refresh so I can see my target group here so I can create my load balancer so currently it is in the provisioning state and if I just hit a refresh here so these are an initial state so let's wait for my load balancer to come up and these instances to come up in healthy state so as you can see that my register targets are in the healthy state and if I just go to the load balancer this is also is active now so I can just take this DNS see it is giving me the IP of my instances that I added the target because this is thing which we configured as a user data and we will be getting this output so if I just refresh it so I'm expecting the IP or the host name of other instance as well so after multiple tries and refresh I think the request has now finally gone to other instance so you can see the host name of that instance and if I refresh this window so it, it is went to the same instance now so that means I have configured the load balancer and it is response giving me response from my instances and if you go to listener so you can create some more listeners here you can create another listener and define the rule here and one important use case that I wanted to show is that so currently we have added EC2 instances as a target but I already have one application load balancer created this is the LB and if I take the DNS so it is giving me a static re static response that is my ALB because this is how I configured it so what I do next is that I'll configure my ALB as a target to NLB for this purpose first of all I have to create one target group where the target type will be application load balancer so I'll name it my NLB ALB let's say TG so because my ALB is listening on port 80 so that is fine it is created in custom VPC only health check I'll leave it as it is next so I'll register a target I'll choose my ALB I'll create a target group so if you want to see the how I created this ALB then I have already published one video related to it I'll attach the link you can go through it 
so now I have created another target group where the target is my application load balancer now I'll go to my load balancer that is a network type here I'll update my listener so I'll edit this so the port and everything will remain same but the forward or default action rather than forwarding to my target group where I have instances I'll forward it to my ALB and I'll save it okay so now when I try to access the NLB DNS it should give me the same output as my ALB is giving I'll take the DNS name I'll paste it so currently you can see it is still giving me the IP or the host name from my instance and the reason is that there is a configuration that I want to highlight is that TTL that is time to live so that caches the response for particular amount of time so that's why I'm get, still getting the response as a host name of the instances so if we wait for some time so in between I'll just go to my load balancer and I'll co cover some important point related to integration so for integration you can see that you can integrate it with AWS config this is another AWS service you can integrate with VPC endpoint and you can do uh, traffic mirroring as well for monitoring there are some default metrics available you can view the metrics from here so these are some of things I'll cover so okay so if I just do a refresh yeah so now the request went to my ALB so that means now when I'm trying to access the DNS of my network load balancer it is routing the request to my ALB and further ALB is returning my static response so this is how we can add a ALB as a target group for NLB so that's all for this video I hope you like the content then please do subscribe this channel and like this video thank you